Oops, they did it again. I'm talking about the fabulous team at Constellation brand, Sybil STZ, the best of breed alcohol company that's the world's leading purveyor of premium wines, not to mention number three brewer in the United States. You know them as the company that sells Corona, Modelo, and Pacifico, three of the most popular beers at Bar San Miguel, my small plate Mexican restaurant in Brooklyn, along with Robert Mondavi and Claude Bois wines and some hard liquor brands like Kramer Fave Casa Noble, that's the tequila, and Svedka Vodka. Just like I predicted in last Friday's game play, and when Constellation reported this morning, they delivered yet another fantastic quarter. The company posted a solid 2%, a, a two cent earnings beat off a dollar fifty two basis, with higher than expected revenue up fifteen percent year over year, thanks in large part to a nineteen percent increase in beer sales. And management also reiterated their full year guidance. Stocks soared nearly four percent on the news, and I bet it's got more room to run because Constellation is a consolidator. They've made a series of acquisitions in the red hot craft beer space, and they're also picking up some fast growth luxury wine brands, most recently purchasing Prisoner Wine, which is the number one super luxury red wine blend. Now, Constellation's given us a remarkable 17% gain since we last spoke to the CEO roughly seven months ago. Can it keep climbing? Let's check in with Rob Sands. He's the president and CEO of Constellation Brands. Find out more about the quarter and where his company's headed. Mr. Sands, welcome back to Mad Money. Thanks, Jim. Nice to be here. All right, Rob, I got to tell you, I don't know. You have so many superlatives, but I just think 15% organic growth in beer. I've never seen anything like it. How were you able to put up those numbers? Well, you know, it's a lot of, uh, you know, blocking and tackling. Uh, but more importantly, you know, I always like to take it back to a simple fact. The consumers voting with their feet. Uh, we've got fantastic brands in Corona and Modelo Special. Pacifico is red hot at the moment. Um, and uh, needless to say, our, our craft uh, brand, Ballast Point, is absolutely on fire with 60% uh, growth uh, in the quarter. Now, I, I know that a lot of people hear these numbers, they'll say, well, wait a second, what does it mean? Talk about how many different breweries you've had to build simply because you've got to meet demand. Well, we're uh, right now uh, three quarters of the way through building the largest brewery in the world down in uh, Pedras Negras, Mexico. Uh, that brewery will produce uh, almost 300 million cases of uh, beer on an annual basis. We started uh, groundbreaking in Mexicali, Calif Mexicali, which is the state of Baja California in Mexico, not to be confusing. Um, that's going to be a large brewery, and we're uh, also started uh, on the construction of a brewery in Virginia, which is going to be our new East Coast Ballast Point Brewery. So uh, we've got a lot of shovels in the ground at the moment, Jim. I was going to say, you've got the best expansion plan of any company I deal with because you've got the best demand, which is what creates it. Heavy double-digit wine increases this quarter for some of your brands? Absolutely. I mean, we have brands that are just on fire. Uh, Miomi Take, for instance, you had mentioned it, a brand that we just purchased, um, uh, you know, a number of months ago. 90% uh, growth on that brand. Uh, Prisoner, uh, also a new acquisition, just absolutely on fire. And then some of our uh, other brands like uh, Kim Crawford, number one New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc in this country, uh, high double-digit growth on that brand. Claude de Bois, number one Chardonnay in terms of growth uh, in the country right now. Uh, Black Box, which is uh, our premium uh, box wine, high double-digit growth. Uh, Quite a number of our brands are absolutely on fire, both uh, wine and uh, beer. How's your tequila purchase working out? Tequila's working out fantastically. Casanoble is the fastest growing. Now, this is a, 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 actually number one fastest growing uh, luxury tequila brand uh, in the country right now. Now, one of the things that I think uh, we talked about, uh, David Faber, my partner, is walking the street, talking about, he said, well, you know, at the Justice Department, they got a good break. But I said, what's happened is, is they took a good break and made it into something special. Because when I talked with you when you bought, I happened to be there when you, when you, when you bought Casanoble, it was not the fastest growing tequila by any means. You did something to make it so it got turbocharged. What did you do with that brand that made it so that it's, it's now ahead of the other guys? Well, there's a couple of things. Um, number one, we've got a, a great uh, position with our beer uh, distributors and our uh, wine and spirits distributors is really uh, one of the leading beverage alcohol companies and the number one provider of uh, growth 
in beverage alcohol in the in entire United States at retail and for uh, our distributors. Now, you know, we've been able to take that position and, and capitalize on that uh, with the brands that we have been adding to our portfolio. So um, we've got a great sales organization that's focused completely on execution, execution every day. And uh, therefore, we've got a very well-oiled machine when it comes to driving the growth of these brands. The real shocker for me was Pacifico. You and I have talked about that brand. That's a, I initially thought it was a throwaway brand. I mean, it's one of my favorites, and you, you see me uh, sell it at my place. But what happened to that, that you have a 24-ounce that is suddenly the hottest thing in beer? What did you do? How did you know that that was where you should go? Well, first of all, uh, the brand up 17% in the quarter, um, and the new 24-ounce can that you just mentioned uh, is the number one uh, new import skew uh, in terms of growth uh, in the country. Now, you know, we have been listening to our consumers, and interestingly enough, um, there's been a lot of chatter uh, about the fact uh, that our consumers, um, who are often craft drinkers, when they decide that they want to drink um, something else non-craft, it appears that um, Pacifico is becoming their uh, beer of choice. So they are vacillating um, between high-end crafts like our, our Ballast Point and um, Pacifico, which is um, you know, a really great uh, and full-bodied Mexican import, but you know, um, a little easier drinking than your typical you know, double IPA. Well, I got to tell you, you did a remarkable job once again, Rob. You know, we have total faith in you because you have delivered time and time again. Thank you so much for coming on to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Yeah, thanks. Okay, that's Rob Sands. He's Constellation Brands President and CEO. This is a stock that has just been an unbelievable stock because management is doing an unbelievable job. Stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.